today's lesson, we will place the first digit. 546 divided by 5. We could start out with our tens, like we've been doing. If I have five groups and I only have four tens, I can't give each of them a ten because I don't have enough. I need five. So they all get zero tens. Zero times five is zero. I didn't give any tens out. So four subtract zero is four. Bring down my six, and I have 46. You might notice I just did a whole lot of work, and I ended up with what I started with, 46. So if you can't go into the first digit, there is an easier way, which we'll get to in a second. You can do it like this, so we can continue. How many fives go into 46? There are nine. Nine times five is 45. 46 subtract 45 is one, and our answer is nine, remainder one. But what we could have done when we had 46 divided by five said I can't give out any tens, so I just leave my ten spot blank. And then we look at the two numbers, the 46. So we just go over one more digit, since it couldn't go into our first digit. So how many fives are in 46? There's nine. Nine times five is 45. 46 subtract 45 is one. There's nothing to bring down, so it's nine remainder one much quicker, less writing, than having to go through that step. We're going to be getting into some three-digit numbers today, but it's going to be the same thing we've been doing. So I start with my hundreds digit, which is five. If I have five hundreds, I can't give one to each of seven people, or seven groups. So I'm going to leave my hundreds place blank. And then I'm going to add another digit to that 5. So I'm going to look at 52. So how many 7s are in 52? There are 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So I gave out 49 of those 10s. I have 3 10s left. Bring down my 1s. And I have 38 1s. So how many 7s are in 38? There are five. So five times seven is 35. 38 subtract 35 is three. We've used all of our digits, so we're done. 75 remainder three. Just like before, we're gonna check these with multiplication. So 75 times seven, so that's our quotient times our divisor. Five times seven, is 35, 7 times 7 is 49, plus 3 is 52, and we add in our 3 that was our remainder, and we get 528, which means our answer is right. Time for you to do a practice problem. So divide, then use multiplication to check. Go ahead and pause. Okay, we can't go into our tens. There's only three. We need at least four. So there are nine fours and 38. We'd give out 36, which leaves us with two. So nine remainder two. Check with multiplication. Nine times four is 36. Add in our remainder of two, and we get 38. So 9 remainder 2 is correct. Second practice problem. Same instructions, but now a three-digit number. Go ahead and pause. 6 can't go into 1, so we'll have it go into 13. There are two 6s in 13, so that gives out 12. This leaves us with 1. Bring down the 9. How many 6s are in 19? There are three. Three times six is 18. This leaves us with one remainder. We check it, 23 times six. Six times three is 18. Six times two is 12, plus one is 13. 
add in our one remainder, and we have 139, which is what we wanted. So 23 remainder 1 is our quotient. Four problems for you to do today. Number 1, 27 divided by 8. Number 2, 196 divided by 3. Number 3, 203 divided by 6. And your final problem, number 4, is 328 divided by 5. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.